Oh hey, do you guys wanna hear about the worst Disneyland trip I have ever taken? Cause I'm about to tell you. <laughs> Boy, is it a doozy. Um, first, I wanna say, give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited to hear about it, and uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you're not already, join the fam. So first off, the only reason I can tell this story is because I actually lived to tell it. That's the shocking part. All right, so to tell you this story, I gotta get a little bit comfy. I'm in my uh, egg chair right here. Here's the deal. This story starts out like any other fun Disney day. We woke up and we were so excited. We actually headed to California Adventures, which is one of our favorite parks. It's just so chill there, fun. They actually have a food and wine festival going on right now, so um, it's just really like relaxing to walk through. There's food, there's fun music in the air, and we were really excited for a very fun Disney day. In fact, one thing that we were very much looking forward to was going on a ride we've never been on, which is the Rise of the Resistance, which is actually at Disneyland. So we booked our fast track passes for about 3.30, I think maybe even four o'clock, because that's how long the fast pass was gonna like take to get. And so we had all day to spend at California Adventures before we finally get to go on the one ride that we've never been on before. But what's even more exciting is that Ollie was finally big enough to go on the epic roller coaster that he has been dying to go on. It goes upside down. And yes, California Adventures started out like any other fun Disney day. And we actually vlogged it. So I'm gonna show you that footage right now. What are we waiting for? Ollie and Daddy. We're waiting for Ollie and Brian to go on the Incredicoaster, the one right behind me. Ollie's never been, so this is his first time. He's gonna go upside down. Do you think he's gonna love it or hate it? He love it. I think he he's gonna it. love it. He love it. He seems like a big uh, thrill kid right now. What do you see? Mr. Incredible. Hey, hey, hey. him the entire time we were in the loop and he was just like yeah! <laughs> I guess you could say this whole day was full of first because that was Ollie's first time going on the Incredicoaster and now Brian wanted to take us for the very first time on the swinging gondolas at California Adventures which we were really excited about we've never been on them before and it was gonna be a lot of fun what do you think of that Ollie that was fun I'll chime in here though, while we were waiting in line, I definitely started thinking to myself, I don't really feel that great. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this day. Maybe we'll just go on Rise of the Resistance ride and then I'll end up leaving because just not feeling good. Nothing in particular, kind of felt like maybe I was having a bladder infection come on, but nothing crazy. I just was like, I just don't feel very good. Getting in a gondola for the first time. So we've never been on the swinging gondolas before. Nope. Should be interesting. I'm a little nervous because it actually moves. I'm I'm excited to see their reaction. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay. We are swinging. <laughs> That's exciting. We are so high up now, boys. No, we're not even at the highest yet. Wait, we aren't? No. Oh, it goes up more. Oh, wow, <laughs> this thing is massive. I can see goofy shiny. Up there. Yeah, the flight school? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Are we going up? Yeah. It only moved like really fast when we first got on. Yeah. Kind of like slowly. Whoa, boys, look at Grizzly Peak from here. Oh, wow, look at the bear. That's crazy. Oh 
Okay. Are we done? No. Is that it? Are we getting off? No. Is it over? No. No. Wait, hold up. This is exactly where all hell breaks loose. So after we go on the swing in gondolas, which was a lot of fun, we actually got lunch. And as soon as I ate lunch, I felt this pain come on that was pretty intense. Started out kind of slow, but I felt it building. I ended up going on two rides with the boys because um, Brian was feeling sick from the Incredicoaster and from the gondolas at that point. So I went on the jumping jellyfish, which are fine, but I definitely was like, ooh, I'm having some pain pain in my side, this does not feel very good. And then we went on the swings, which was, uh, the boys love that ride, they are obsessed with it. But I definitely was riding it going, I, need to, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not feeling good. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to uh, Rise of the Resistance. So when we get off the ride, we actually go to the bathroom and I'm, nothing is really relieving this pain I'm having. I'm having this pain kind of in my back, shooting forward to the front. I obviously, anytime you have pain, anywhere near your abdomen. You can't help but think like, I hope the baby's okay. I hope this isn't something bad or terrible. But I didn't really feel like it was that. Because the pain was on the side and more like in my back and I didn't really feel like it had to do with the baby. I felt like the baby was okay. But I came out of that bathroom and I just looked at Brian and I said, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I think we need to go home. And he's like, oh, okay. But I felt so bad. I felt so bad because the boys were really excited about Rise of the Resistance. Um, of course, they were super understanding actually. Um, and they just wanted to go on one more ride. And I was like, we can go on one more ride. We definitely can. We ended up up letting the boys play at a playground for a couple of minutes while we killed time until our fast track for Soarin' Over California, which again, the boys have never been on Soarin' Over California. They've only been on Soarin' Over the World. And so this was their first time getting to see Soarin' Over California. But as we're walking through the park area where we let the kids play until the fast track passes, my pain is picking up, man. I am like starting to sweat. I am starting to be in so much pain. Brian's looking at me like, babe, do you think we should just leave? And I'm like, no, no, I can do it. I think I'm fine. I don't, I think I'm fine. And at this point, wasn't at the peak of my pain still. So, you know, I think I really did think I was gonna be okay. I was not okay. <laughs> so then, it was finally time for our fast track passes to go on to Soarin' Over California. And as we enter the fast track, I'm thinking, okay, it's gonna be real fast. I'm starting to sweat, it's starting to get real bad, but we have fast track passes, so this shouldn't take long at all. Well, those fast track passes were definitely like the longest wait. Though so I was sit standing in this line, starting to shake, starting to feel a little like nauseous, starting to like really get heated. And I just, I didn't wanna actually freak out Brian. So I just kind of kept it to myself, breathing, I'm okay. Everything's fine. We're gonna ride this ride. When we got on Soarin' Over California, I telling you that I am traumatized from that ride is an understatement. I sat there with my arms gripping this side. Like, oh my God, get me off this ride. I am in excruciating pain. And at this point, I still had no idea what was wrong with me. I couldn't pinpoint what the pain was. I was thinking maybe it is actually a bladder infection. My bladder is like inflamed. I need to maybe get to the doctor. So as soon as we get off that ride, I'm like, get me out of here now. We we're actually staying at a hotel. So we had a quick walk to the hotel room where I immediately <laughs> got into the bathtub and just laid there and tried to kind of assess my pain. That's when my pain really started to pick up and I realized I need to get to a hospital ASAP. Like, not even joking. So Brian and I are kind of discussing our options because obviously we're alone, we're not even in our hometown, I don't even know the hospitals around here or urgent cares, and we have the kids, so he can't really take me. I'm gonna have to like take myself, but at that point I couldn't drive, didn't necessarily want an Uber. He looks at me because I'm in so much pain, he goes, I'm about to call 911 and get you an ambulance. I'm like, okay, 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 no, I don't need an ambulance, I just need you to drive me. And so we settled with him driving me to the hospital, and on the way to the hospital, that is when the pain picked up so bad. I said, I am going to throw up. I am in so much pain. And that's when it clicked in my head, I must have a kidney stone. <laughs> I've never had a kidney stone before, so I couldn't say uh, definitely. But at this point, the pain was so intense 
And everyone always says that kidney stones are one of the most painful things you can uh, experience, sometimes even worse than childbirth. And this was hands down the most pain I have ever felt in my life. And I've definitely gone through contractions with Finley. I've had some pain in my life. This was so intense. So, so, so intense pain. I would not wish it on anyone. I was literally dying. I thought I was dying. So Brian ends up dropping me off at a hospital that I just kind of looked up and they um, take me in. They see that I'm in pain, but you know, they have to ask me all these questions and I am like, I am screaming in pain. I am crying. I'm like, please help me. Like, I need, I need medication. I need something. I'm in so much pain. I'm so much pain. And you know, they keep asking me like, have you had miscarriages? Or do you think this is the baby? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't think so. But like, I just need you guys to like check on the baby and figure out what's wrong with me. So um, at this point, they had narrowed down. They're like, it's either the baby or kidney stones. Whew, at this point. The, I realized that the hospital is very packed. <laughs> so they end up sticking me um, in the hallway on a bed where I am writhing in pain. I begin vomiting in the hallway while people are staring at me. Someone there um, maybe was off their medication, was laughing hysterically at me. I'm bawling my eyes out. I'm literally in so much pain and nobody can help me. They basically um, did an ultrasound on my abdomen. The baby was totally fine, which I will say this is the only plus thing that happened was baby was looking good, heart rate was 175, and they were just jumping around and having a great time, just totally fine while mommy was about to pass out from pain. And then unfortunately, they can't do CT scans to see if there's a kidney stone because I'm pregnant. And because I'm pregnant, I can't have any pain medication that actually helps with kidney stones. So I can have certain things like Norco um, and even morphine that's safe for the baby technically, but that doesn't really help. And what they really want to give you is Tordal, and I could not have Tordal. They were like, it looks like it is most likely a kidney stone. There's no other issues, no, no pancreas issue, no bladder issue. They checked my blood work, they checked everything. And so they basically narrowed it down to kidney stones. But at this point, we don't know how many, how big, all those big questions that you would usually get answered if you were not pregnant. So at this point, they basically just stick me in the hallway. I do have footage of me in the hallway and I am a mess. And I wish I could have vlogged more, but I couldn't even talk. I was in so much pain. I was shaking. I was like, couldn't think straight. It was the most intense thing I've ever felt in my life. Like I'm not even trying to be dramatic. So I have like a couple of clips, very minor, but I look, <laughs> I look ratchet. <laughs> So at this point, because they figured out what the issue was at this, you know, like whatever they think it is, and there's nothing they could really do for me more, I'm like, please, like, have my husband come pick me up. I want to go home. Now, keep in mind, we're an hour from home. As soon as Brian could come pick me up, he picked me up. I got in the car. I was like, drive to like the nearest corner, and I had to get out and like throw up. I ended up stopping like two or three times on the way home to throw up because of the pain, not from pregnancy, literally because I was in so much pain. I've never thrown up from pain, so that was very intense for me. I cried the whole way, it was so sad. My kids were so worried about me. I was trying to be so gentle, like not let them see mommy like really, really like distraught. Luckily they fell asleep almost right away, we got in the car, but I felt so bad because I could tell this was kind of a traumatizing situation for them. And so anyways, we get home, the pain, I mean it, never let up it was never even like give me give me like 10 seconds of like a breather the pain never ever let up even an inch it was so bad i tried everything i tried like different positions and i tried in the bathtub in the bed i was like i literally felt like i was giving birth i felt like i'm trying all these different positions to help with this pain and nothing was helping. So at this point, I'm sitting in the bath and I'm like, maybe I need to try to get my mind off of this. So I go to my phone and I try to watch TikTok. I get one scroll through and I'm, I can't even pay attention. 
second because of the pain. But I get one scroll through and it ends up being this lady who t is talking about how she got through her unmedicated birth and what she did. And she basically talks about how she just had to completely relax her entire body, her jaw, her arms, her hands, her everything. And I sat there and I go, I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna pretend like I'm giving birth right now. That's what I'm gonna do. So I lay in the bathtub and I set my phone down. I put on like relaxing music and I just relax every single part of my body and it was so hard. But as soon as I just let go of all the tension in my fingers, my eyes, my arms, like everything, I don't know if this sounds crazy, but it worked. It actually worked. I almost fell asleep in the bathtub because I was so relaxed. Even though I could feel the pain in my back and my side, I just tried not to like focus on it and just focus on like really, really relaxing and breathing. I swear it's like I hypnotized myself. It was the weirdest thing ever. Brian ended up going to Rite Aid and getting like a heating pad for me and a couple like medications and stuff. And as soon as he got back, I laid down in the bed and I just continued my relaxation mode. I actually fell asleep for like couple hours and when I woke up the pain was gone and I was like oh my god I don't feel any pain oh my gosh I need to go pee so because they say as soon as you don't feel pain um, it means that the kidney stone has dropped into your um, bladder and you're ready to pee it out so I go to the bathroom and I grab a cup I pee in it and out comes <laughs> I know it doesn't look big, guys, but this thing is ginormous. Let me get it. Out comes this little devil. That is my kidney stone. It is ginormous. If you can imagine this going through tiny little tubes to get down to your bladder. This thing caused me so much pain. Finally came out about 1.30 in the morning. When I peed that thing out, I was ecstatic. I woke Brian up. I texted my mom, my sister, my dad. <laughs> like oh my god I did it I did it came birth I measured it it was like it's like a half a millimeter which doesn't sound big but it, it's so big it was so painful so now I officially am recovered from that but that is my very traumatic Disneyland story like people keep telling me they're like how many times have you had to leave Disneyland in an emergency now maybe you shouldn't uh, do that anymore because if you don't know or if you don't remember I was actually at Disneyland when I was pregnant with Finn and I had to be wheeled out and go to the hospital because I was having I went into like pre or like not labor but like prodromal labor I don't know it was a whole thing it will, you'll have to go back and watch it, but but yeah, that is what happened to me. I've kind of been a little MIA because I had one day to recover from my kidney stone and then I got a stomach flu and today's the first day I'm just kind of feeling better, getting a little bit of energy back. I've barely been able to eat in like days. So I've been a little bit ugh, under the weather in bed. It's been a rough week basically with just recovering and all of that. But I just wanted to tell you guys my crazy story. If you guys missed it though, Brian's new song, Watch Him Grow, is out. Actually, I should say our song is out. I helped him write it and it was a lot of fun. It's really, really special to us. And it's really special to our family because it's all about our boys. And if you're a parent or if you have kids or if you ever want kids, you'll totally relate to it. So make sure you guys go check it out. I'll have the links down below. Go stream it, listen to it. It's really awesome. And um, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Boop.